when it comes to fun, trendy, and exciting makeups, nothing takes the cake the same way that glitter does. Glitter is endlessly versatile. With a light sweep over the lid, you're gonna brighten the eye. If you take some primer or some grease paint and you pepper it in and press in some glitter, you are gonna have an eye that looks more encrusted than the window of Tiffany. So, no matter the choice you choose to make, we are gonna have some amazing fun with the smar sparkle today. But what's most important from me to you, push your creativity, do something exciting. Wow yourself, wow your model, and wow me. I can't wait to see the beautiful things you create. First off, we are gonna prime the lid. Priming, as I've said a million times before, and it never hurts to remind you, and it'll never hurt for you to remind your clients, priming the lid, Make sure makeup stays in place and requires far fewer touch-ups. Now in our case, with something as temperamental as glitter, because glitter sometimes has a life and a mind entirely its own, the more you can, the more sort of foolproof traps you can put in to keep it where you want to keep it, the better off you will be. So. We're setting up trap number one, the primer. Now for the intent, uh, for the purpose of the lesson, we're really gonna concentrate it here as we have in the past on a single eye. And we're gonna pull that eye up so you can see more techniques and then be able to use these techniques to build upon your arsenal, our, our major goal. All right, so the eye is completely primed. To, to start the lid and to give it extra pop, I'm gonna use some grease paints. But other options for you, you can take a little bit of lash adhesive, you can tap it into the lid. You can take a little bit of eye makeup primer, it won't hold as much, or you can use grease paints like I'm gonna do. Makeup Forever has a flash color palette. You can get grease paints from any theatrical shop, Halloween stores, pretty much any place will have a version of grease paint. And they're thick, so they'll really hold the glitter, giving an incredible glow and pop. Now in our case, I'm choosing to use a gold and then I'm going to put gold glitter on it. By using the same color of, you know, grease paint and glitter, we're going to intensify the effect. If instead I chose to say use blue and put gold into it, we would create an even more magical, unique and different combination. So again, like everything else we do together, don't be afraid to experiment. So what I'm going to do to build my look is I'm going to take some of the gold paint and I'm going to sweep it right across the lid. Now I'm going to be generous. Now make sure when you're doing this you remind your model to keep their eye closed because it is a paint so if they open their eye it could paint itself right up onto the lid. And cleanup is easy, but if they just keep their eye closed, that's a cleanup you will not have to do. So we're painting that right across the lid. These paints come in a tremendous, tremendous variety of colors. And if you can't find the one that you want, or you're having a hard time finding one, or if you just want to experiment and don't want to invest in a grease paint, you can get a simple white, clown white. It's a couple dollars at pretty much any local store. And if you want to change the color, take a little bit of um, your loosely pigmented eyeshadow and mix it into the clown white and suddenly you'll have your own do-it-yourself grease paint that you can transform to create looks. So, keep your eyes shut for me for just a moment. So very, very, very important note for you. Make sure in every case you use cosmetic grade glitter and not drugstore glitter. Drugstore glitter, yes, it's beautiful, it shines, it glows, but there's a reason that kindergartners use it with glue and we don't use it on people's faces. And that reason is it's very sharp. If it ends up in your eye, it can scratch your eye, it can cause awkward problems in the corner, a lot of redness, things you're not gonna be able to hide for a shoot and perhaps even long-term damage. Cosmetic grade glitter is much softer. It can be used on the face without any problems. So 
That is something I don't want you to forget. Now, in applying the glitter, you can use, there are tools that are specifically made to apply glitter, but you can also use a flat brush or a concealer brush. Anything really works. The key to it is build to you re till you reach the level of glow that you want. So I'm going to take and I'm going to just press this glitter in. Now you see glitter, like I said, it has a life of its own. So you may be noticing that it's having a, it's having a grand journey down her cheeks. That's why, especially when you do glitter eyes, like with anything else, you may want to consider always doing the eyes first. Just keep tapping it in, make sure you cover everything and get your desired lay. Now, cosmetic glitter comes in a huge assortment of sizes. You can get a very fine glitter, you can get a slightly larger glitter, you can get glitters that have multi-tonalities to them, meaning one side of the glitter is one color and the other side of the glitter is another which will create almost sort of a, depending on the colors you choose, a dragonfly effect. As they turn their face, the color of the eyeshadow will change. So there's a, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity within these sort of eye treatments. And I want you to find your voice within them and create some magic. Now you can see it's almost become, combining the gold with the gold, it's almost become sort of a, a liquid gold eye. There. Now she can open her eye up. So even if, now and of course, like I've said a million times, everything's naked without liner and mascara, but even if we were to stop there and do some cleanup, we have just done a pretty exciting bold eye that's great for an evening out. But when we dress it up is where we start to make some of the magic. So now we're gonna do a little dress up on the eye.